Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lorraine 11 and today I'm going to be doing something very exciting. I haven't done it for over a year and that is straightening my hair with hair grease. So as you can see, my hair is already prepped. I did blow dry my hair with a heat protectant and a little tiny bit of hair grease last night. So now I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna put any more moisture on my hair. I'm just gonna go ahead, put a little bit of hair grease on and then I'm gonna press my hair with hair grease, press. Okay. So the hair straighteners I will be using is my Tresemme. Okay, so I've just turned that on. I don't know if you can see that. As that's heating up, and by the way, guys, I haven't just put it on the floor. I've got a heat mat on the floor. I'm going to loose out my hair in sections. To be honest, the hair drying itself is the most annoying part for me. The heat protector that I used is Dr. Miracle's Thermal Protection Styler. I used it just before I blow dried my hair. Quite runny. You can see seems to have done the job all right so i'm just gonna comb this bit out so i'm gonna do this section by section and i'm gonna be using my coconut oil and castor oil pressing oil by dax which is this and i've got the small tub today guys because i don't straighten my hair often so i don't use this one very often i usually use the green dax right so what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna do it section by section so I'm not going to grease my hair all in one go. Is that too big? No, I think that should be fine. So I'm going to use a tiny little bit of hair grease. Guys, you may hear a little bit of sizzling. Ain't, ain't none. Be very careful when you're doing this bit, guys. I'm not going to pass it again through the lengths of my hair, just the roots. In fact, I think I'm going to just use the brush. I feel like I have more of a grip. Okay guys, just bear in mind, I'm not using a whole lot of hair grease. And this will be the only time that I straighten my hair, so I'm not going to straighten in between. All I'm going to do is wrap it. If it starts to get a bit curly, then I'll just wrap it at night. And I'll use my Dax pomade that I've shown you to get my edges straight if there's any frizzing of my edges. So as you can see, the hair grease allows me to pass the flat iron through my hair once. That's all it takes. When I don't use hair grease, and I'm not gonna demonstrate because I don't wanna have to keep, keep running the flat iron through my hair, but when I don't use hair grease, I don't get it this straight. And no, it doesn't feel greasy, guys, or sticky. As you can see, it's lightweight, it's moving. Okay, guys, just also bear in mind, if you are going to straighten your hair, the smaller the sections, the better the results. So I'm gonna split this. So it may take some time, guys, but depends if you want your hair to look rushed or if you want it to look good. Just put it that way. See, that, for me, is too much. Still a bit too much. Because it's oily, I don't wanna put a whole bunch of it on there. I think that's enough for that strand. There you go, gets it straight the first go. So let me show you what I've got so far. So guys, I'm just gonna carry on. So guys, this is what I've got so far. See my ends are nice and straight and guys i think the thing that contributed to my hair being in such good, good condition at, at present is because i've kept my hair moisturized for the last maybe two months when was the last time i took my hair out of the cane bro 
when did I start this moisture journey? But ever since then, every single weekend, I have been on form. <laughs> I've been deep conditioning my hair. I've been moisturizing it midweek. So now you can tell the health of my hair. Very healthy. No dry ends. When I done this last year, actually, my ends were quite, they're very badly split, I must say. <laughs> but they're very nice and straight and glossy. So... I won't be needing to trim my hair. I trimmed my hair recently anyway, but I won't be needing to trim my hair whilst it's straight. So this is what I've got so far. So now we're gonna to move to the front. And as I said, guys, the smaller section, so I don't wanna do it over my ear like that. I'm gonna do this piece first. The smaller the section, the better the results. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do this section. Is anyone nervous that I'm getting so close to my face? Because <laughs> I am. Go. That's how you do it. <sighs> Look at that. A bit of hair grease. Rub it down the length of my hair. This is the bit that always scares me. So I try to, when I'm doing it in my ear, I try to hold the hair up slightly when I'm using the straighteners. And even if it's not super straight up there, which it actually is, but even if it's not, I can live with that fat, guys. I'd rather live with a bit of curling at my roots than no ears, okay? Oh, it's straightened nicely. Also, guys, I've got fine hair strands, but how do you say? Is it high density? Or mid density, I say, to an extent. I've got a lot of hair, let's put it that way, but my strands are fine. <laughs> And some of you might be thinking why well, I'm not using a reptile comb with the end of the brush to do this part to part my hair. But it's just when I feel it with my fingers, I don't know if it's just in my head, but when I feel the parting with my fingers, I feel like I can judge it better in regards to width of how much I want to take out to straighten. Do you know what guys, I hope you appreciate this video because it is very hard for me to straighten the front of my hair on camera without burning my eye socket. To be honest, I think I may just go and finish the rest off camera because you get the gist. So I think I'll come back once my hair is fully straightened. Okay, guys, I have completely finished now. So that took me about two hours. Yes, it seems long, but that's because I was stopping and starting it. Maybe if I was just doing it continuously, I could have got it done in maybe an hour, hour and a half maybe, I don't know. But yes, this is my hair. It's got lots of movement. It is not greasy. Ugh, I bumped my ends. I don't know why I'm feeling like Snoop Dogg back in the day. <laughs> Let me just go and show you the back. Just past bra strap length. So I didn't need to put too much hair grease on my hair only because when I uh, blow dried my hair yesterday, I did seal it with hair grease. And again, I didn't use a lot. So I didn't want my hair to come out too greasy. What I'm gonna do tonight is I'm not gonna wrap it like how the traditional wrap as you would do, like, you know, comb it all the way around. Because for one, it's not natural for my hair to form in that way because that's not the way my hair grows. I've got a tender scalp, hurts my head. Also, <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do guys tonight I'm literally going to put my hair like this, have it smoothed down, and then I'm going to twist it as you would do with a bantu knot or chiny bump, as I call them. And I'm just going to have a big chiny bump at the back, and that usually smooths out my ends, keeps it nice and smooth. I will secure it with a hairband, and I will put a bonnet on as well as a headscarf. Take it out in the morning, and there you go. So, guys, I haven't managed to... Um, straighten my edges and i don't usually go in with that what i usually do is use my dax my dax pomade i've shot i've done a video solely dedicated to this which again is not sponsored i usually use this because it's quite um i suppose you could call it like an edge control i'm not sure it's a pomade they say but it's quite thick so i usually go in with that because i don't want my curls to revert so i'm not going to use any gel i just use my pomade like so and if you've seen in my other videos and you know how this works guys yes it goes on white but once it's dried it will start to go clear 
So I'm gonna go and do the rest of this off camera, just get these little sideburns, and then I'll be back to you in a sec. Ta-da. <laughs> so guys, I am back. What do you think? I love it as usual. I might just take some pictures and show you instead, guys, because this is a bit hard for me. I'm not as light as I used to be. <laughs> Right guys, so that is it for this hair grease tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions down below. Let me know what you think and all that jazz. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys, bye.